Hi everyone. If you've ever seen one of these contraptions on Rad Power's website and wondered what it was, or even if you knew what it was, you and wondered how the heck does that thing work, well, stay, stay with me and then let's unlock the mysteries of this device together. On a Rad Rover 6, this frame lock attaches to the two lugs on this stay. On the Rad Mission and some of the other bikes like that, it goes on the rear stay at about this level. Comes with two keys. Here's how it works. When it's in place, you slide that down, and this shackle right here closes the lock, interfering with the spokes. So the bike will only move back and forth maybe an inch or two before it interferes with any of the spokes. When you want to unlock your bike, you simply do that, and you're off and running. It stays attached, nothing goes in and out of your bag. When you have it on the bike, you don't even know it's there, but it's there when you want to use it. Just don't forget the key. So here's your Rad Power bike lock. I'm installing it on a Rad Rover 6 Plus. You would think that with the words on this side that the bike lock would fit up underneath this way, but it doesn't. It goes this way. But notice how deep this recess is. It's on both sides. That makes putting the screws in this center hole to mate up to the center hole on the lug quite difficult because you actually can't see it. But we'll come to that. We have a solution. But let me show you how to put this in. So orient it this way, point it down, and if you can get this end all the way by the fender this end will fall right into place you push it by that soft tire and that's how it goes so the, you have to put the screw in the center hole here and made it up to the center of the lug and the same thing for the other side keep in mind that this is two and a half pounds so it's reasonably difficult if you're working by yourself to hold it and get that screw in there to get it started because of that recess on the underside. But we have a solution for that. You give me a minute and I'll show you. Just turn the bike over. You can leave it like this. Turn the bike over and then you have clear access to all of those, to both of those screws on both sides. So I'll do that in a minute and I'll show you. Here you can see with the bike turned over and the wheel removed, you can get a better idea of the positioning of those screws that I mentioned before. You don't have to take your wheel off, I just did that to give you a better view. So here's the bike lock. You can see the other end over here where my hand is. The key is on the left side of the bike. Notice how this thumb latch will not go down unless you turn the key, which, not, which I just now did, and that goes down. You see how that st curved steel rod fits right into the other side of that horseshoe shaped lock. Now, if you release the key, and you can see that that would bind the spokes. So if you release the key, you're going to scare yourself and potentially pinch your fingers. So when it's set and you want to unlock it, I advise turning the key and letting it back up by itself. Now, if you've also bought the chain that goes with this, unlock, set that, this goes right into there. And that doesn't come out until you unlock the lock with the key and pull that out and you're off and running. It's that simple. Red Power makes two chains for this, for double security. One, I guess, is the regular chain. The other one is the long chain. The long chain is, like it says, a long chain. It's about six feet in length. But what you can do with it, once you have the primary lock set, which I'm going to do now, is to take the end with the loop Put it through there, 
because you have a quick release front hub. You don't want anybody stealing your front tire. You just do that. We're locked here. We're locked from going backward forward. Nobody's taking that. And there's still plenty enough room here to go around a telephone pole or whatever upright uh, that you need to park, uh, that you need to use where you park. So pretty nice solution. This is very heavy. This is a three and a half pound chain. The lock itself is two and a half pounds. So you're talking about a, a six pound locking mechanism. I have no idea how that compares to anything else on the market. But I find this a pretty sweet solution. I get nothing from Rad Power. This is not a paid endorsement or anything like that, but I've been putting this to good use lately. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. The final observation I want to leave you with is for you to notice how close your heel of your right foot can come to the thumb tab on the bike lock. So if you have a shoe larger than my size 10 or you're going to work in your work boots, that may be consideration. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have, have any comments or questions, just shoot them on down below in the comment tab and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks. Take care.